Blessings, Dance Ministers. This is Kathleen Brown, Founder and Dance Minister at Boone of the Cross Ministries. And welcome to What to Keep in Your Praise Dance Bag. I hope and pray that this video is beneficial to you and gives you some tips on how to keep your dance bag nice and neat and organized and prepared with the essential things that you may need for ministry. Now, if you are one of the early bird signups, you received a free itemized shopping list of all the things to keep in your dance bag, and you also received a bonus picture presentation of suggestions of how to organize everything. Now, if you weren't on the early bird signup list, that's okay. Go to the description box underneath this video, click the link, and you will be taken to a page where you can enter your name and your email address. That's all that's necessary, and you will receive a free itemized shopping list. So I'm going to pray, and then we're going to get started. So Heavenly Father, I just thank you for the opportunity to uh, minister to fellow dance ministers, Heavenly Father. I just pray that this video is not only uplifting, but informative and helpful for all of us who minister and dance, Heavenly Father. And we thank you for creating technology, Lord, that we can use this to spread your word, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, one of the first things that I recommend that you do is purchase either clear Ziploc bags or clear pencil cases because they help you to organize things and they're clear so you can see what's on the inside. So I'm going to go ahead, let's get started. This is my dance bag. I'm not going to talk very much about my bag itself because I've outgrown it and I'm actually looking for a new dance bag. So I'll start with the front pocket, and I keep things here that I may need quickly, kind of my things that I need that are would be very accessible. So I keep a little pouch of tissue. I have a cosmetic bag here that I purchased at the 99 cent store, and you're going to hear me say this over and over. Most of the things I purchased for organization I got from either the 99 cent store, the Dollar Tree, or my new favorite hangout, Five Below. So this is just a little bag and I hope you can see it's just uh, safety pins and every dancer needs safety pins just for anything last minute make sure everything's all covered up scissors a must have you need scissors in your dance bag in this little pouch I love to make these little quilted pouches in here I keep my anointing oils and I have two I have healing grace and I have Shalom Be Made Whole. And let me put these up to the screen so you can see those. And I purchased these at Glory of Zion in Dallas, Texas. But um, I put the link in the itemized shopping list of their website and also the link to the Mardell website. And you can also purchase uh, anointing oils there. It's a little sewing kit I keep. Every dance bag needs a sewing kit. And inside there's a little, other little pouch of pins, a seam ripper, another little, I don't know if you can see those, little tiny scissors, and some assorted needles. And this is just if something gets ripped last minute, you can, um, you know, mend it up very quickly. And the last thing I have in here is a lighter okay <laughs> you probably would never expect to see a lighter in a dance bag but a lot of times if um, I'm cutting ribbon last minute to add to a garment or to one of my dancers hair um, what you do is you burn the edges of the ribbon and they won't unfray so I keep this in here so these are all go right back in this front pocket Now we're going to move on to the zipper pockets. I have a zipper pocket here and a zipper pocket here. On this side, I keep my white basic essentials. And on this side, I keep my black basic essentials. And in here, I keep my beige basic essentials. So I'm going to start with this side. And this is just a little mesh pocket here. Hope you can see that. I just keep a, a little towel to wipe off any perspiration or sweat. Keep a pair of socks, um, 
I always minister in shoes, but sometimes my feet get cold. So I'll put these on either before or after I minister. Another little pouch of tissue and an ink pen. So that all fits right there. And I didn't take my dance bag with me when I go to dance ministry conferences, just to make sure I have everything I need. So, I don't know, I made this little bag, and you can look at that, it's white with some beige crosses on it. And in here I keep my, oops, my white unitard. So after I minister, I just put them in the washer and just put them right back in my dance bag. And I keep this one in this little bag just because it's white, I just want to keep it clean. And then I have another matching bag. This is a shoe bag. Now the dance shoe bags are available on the Foot of the Cross Ministries website. And I'll put the link in the description box. And in here I keep my white ballet shoes. Um, and if you're wondering how I keep them so clean, I just purchased them. So I haven't worn them yet. And in here I keep a clear pencil case. And inside I keep my white mind gloves. And I'll just show you one pair. These are just the little white satin mine gloves. Sometimes I wear them when I minister. If I, on the off chance I forget to take off my nail polish, I wear gloves. And I have three pair in here. So these all fit right back in the side pocket. Okay, so now we're gonna go over to the black essentials. Okay, oh, and in this little zipper pocket here, it's a little small one. I keep feminine supplies, and I won't show those on camera. Okay, it's another shoe bag. This one's blue. It's got little crosses on it. And in here, I keep my black jazz shoes. These are from Block. They're the Neoflex. Those just work well with my feet. I keep my black unitard in here. And another dance shoe bag, and I just love this one. It's white with little colorful crosses on it. And I keep my black ballet shoes in here. So, and I just like the shoe bags because it keeps everything just really um, neat and organized. And I'm not looking in one part of my bag for one shoe or wondering where another shoe is. So, so we'll put all of these into this side pocket. Now for the main compartment, and this is just a hand sanitizer. I just hang this on the side of my bag. In the main compartment, I keep my Bible. And I got this at my new favorite store, Five Below. It's hard. It's just a little notebook that I keep. Um, I keep my sermon notes in here. These are a godsend, a blessing, and you need these in your dance bag. Purchase these at Dollar Tree. They're over the door hooks. And you hang them over a door. So if you're changing in a restroom that doesn't have the hook on the back of the door, you can create your own. So this one has two, uh, two hooks, and this one just has one. These are a must. You need these in your dance bag. Where my church meets is at a community center because we haven't been blessed with a building yet and that community center does not have hooks on the back of the door. So I take these with me and I can hang anything I need, dance bag, purse, uh, garment bag. These are a must. Go get some. Well, I'm going to go on to my beige essentials. It's another shoe bag. You can see that. It's my favorite color, purple, and it's also a ministry color, which I'll do a separate video on. Keep my tan jazz shoes in here. And now this was actually a bag that I purchased uh, pillowcases in. And in here I keep uh, my tights. So I have a pair of white tights, a pair of black tights, and a pair of tan tights. And these are the transition tights that you can roll up. You can wear them footed or footless. Uh, I don't wear tights a lot, but if you are a leotard and tight foundation person, then um, this is a great way to keep them. That's way it's clear, you know what's in here. 
Next thing I have is my favorite unitard. This is my beige turtleneck leotard. I wear this a lot. And I do the turtlenecks just as a side note. Um, being a heavier chested woman, I just like to make sure I'm very modest and covered when I minister. And then I also have another um, leotard in here, another beige one. And it's just the scoop neck leotard, or unitard, sorry. Okay, now this is a one use for your clear Ziploc bag, and I labeled it, and this is um, Angel Wing Dance Scarves. These are available on the website, and sometimes I'll minister during praise and worship. I'm not going to take them all out, but they are, these are available on the Food of the Cross Ministries website, but this is the Angel Wing Dance Scarf. This is my favorite one, the um, rainbow color. Okay, and then this one, I keep a dance scarf in a, uh, it also can double as an overlay. So if by some chance you uh, forget your overlay, you can use this as an overlay. And I'm going to just stand up real quick and show you how to do it. Okay, so you take the, hope you can see, take it and you tie it around you, and then you tie it, kind of knot it here, and you tie it around your neck and it will double as a overlay. And this is just a real pretty peach. You can get any color. It's about two and a half yards of fabric. And then in this uh, bag, it's just a lame dance scarf. Uh, sometimes I'll um, minister with those or use them to cover people. I'll keep those in there. Okay. My next thing is my audio bag, and this is just another little quilted bag I made, and I keep all my audio things in here. So the first thing I have is my Bluetooth speaker. Got this at Walmart, but um, I have the auxiliary cord attached, so I can plug it into my um, iPod, and then the charger part. Have my iPod charger. And I have my iPod. And when I purchase my music, I'll download it to my iTunes library on my computer. And then I just sync it with my iPod. So this stays in here all the time. And the last thing I have is just an auxiliary cord. And I can plug that into uh, my iPod and plug it into the Bluetooth speaker. Or if I'm someplace ministering that has iPod capabilities, then I will put... Um, the song on the iPod and then um, they can use the auxiliary cord to plug it in to play my music. And just as a side tip about music, what I do when I do my music is I put it in a playlist on my iPod and it's just another way to keep it organized not only for you but for the sound person. So. All right, next thing I have is these are rectangular dance scarves and I can mister with these sometimes. And I'll just take one out and show you. It's just um, rectangular scarf and they're just nice for a, a worship song okay next thing I have is my CD case this is another 99 cents for a purchase and I like this because it's hard and in here I keep all of my music and there's plenty of space for music and then when I make my, I always take a music CD and my iPod, just in case I don't have iPod capabilities, I have CDs of my music, and I buy these little white CD cases, and I'll put the ministry name on the back, and on the CD, and then the name of the song, and it just keeps it organized for you, and also for the sound person. Next thing I have is my Hair Essentials bag. And um, I keep in here, I have my bun, a comb, a mirror. It had a handle, but it broke, but the mirror's still good. I have, oops, dropped the scrunchie. I have a hair scrunchies, brush, need a brush, hair ties. I have this little uh, set of bobby pins. It has a little dispenser here on the back. This is a soap dish, 
And in here I have my hairpins and my large bobby pins. And then the last thing I have is just a mirror. And this is a two-sided. So this is the regular side and this is the magnified side. So I keep all of that in here. And most times I do my hair before I go to minister, but there have been a couple of occasions where I have um, had maybe two engagements or something in one day, and uh, I've had to do my hair when I get to uh, the venue. So keep all that in here. Okay, the next thing I have, another clear pencil case. This is my uh, first aid kit. So in here I have a little child size, little neosporin for cuts, a little thing of a leave, little uh, emergency uh, first aid kit, just has band-aids, a gauze pad, some antiseptic wipes. I have um, an ace wrap, and I just keep it in this Ziploc bag. It has the, the ace wrap has the two little prongs on there. And I keep pain patches. Uh, these are good if you overexert yourself. Now they do have a strong smell, so I would suggest putting them on like in the car when you're on your way home from ministry because they do have a kind of an odor to them. And so all of that spits right in here. And then I can see. Yeah. The next thing I have is my another clear pencil case. This is my uh, emergency garment stain kit. <laughs> so I have a uh, just a little travel size lint brush, a tied to go pen just for in case I get a stain. Thank God I've never had to use this. Static guard so nothing's clingy. A downy wrinkle release, and uh, I keep um, shout wipes in here too. So these are, this is just a case of an emergency. You have things to be sure you're not clingy and to get out the stains. Okay, the next thing I have, another clear pencil case. And in here I have extra ink pens. I have a Sharpie just in case I have to label something like a CD. And another thing I have is this, it's a charger. It has the two ports here. And just in case I need to charge my iPod or a phone or, or something, extra auxiliary cord. And this is just a little notebook a friend of mine gave to me. Um, just if I have to write a little note to the sound person or if I forget my sermon, notebook I can take notes in here. This is just a little um, a battery charger. I keep this in here just in case I need to put a quick charge in my iPod or phone and I don't have access to a wall unit. I can use this. And then in here I keep my business cards. Just fit right back in here. Okay, so the next thing we have, oh, the last thing we have is this toiletry bag. And in here, I keep baby powder, deodorant. We need deodorant, must have. Just a little um, container of lotion tweezers, emery board, and a cuticle stick, body spray, and wet wipes. These are great if you're um, going someplace after you minister or if you sweat a lot when you minister. I know there was an occasion where I ministered during um, praise and worship and after church we had a uh, fellowship luncheon. So I was able to go into the restroom, kind of wipe off with the wet wipes, reapply little deodorant, little body spray, a little bit of uh, baby powder, and I was fresh and clean and um, I felt refreshed. So I'll keep all of these, go right back in here. 
And I think that is it. Yes, this is empty. So that is everything that I keep in my Pretty Stance bag. I hope and pray that this video was um, helpful and beneficial to you. I will be doing an updated um, video once I get a new dance bag and kind of show you how I reorganize things in my new dance bag. This video will be on my website, www.footofthecrossministries.com, under the Ministry Resources tab, and it'll also be on the Foot of the Cross Ministries YouTube channel. So again, I pray this video was a blessing to you. Take care, God bless, keep dancing for Jesus, and I'll see you in the next video.